Hello everyone and welcome to Homeschool Peace. I'm Cassandra and today I'm going to be sharing with you our favorite Usborne science books we use here at our home. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to pick Usborne books when you can't really see what's inside the book. So today I'm going to be opening up these books, giving you some really great close-ups of the material inside, flipping through them and also comparing the different styles of Usborne books. Hopefully this will give you some really great ideas for books that you can have right inside your home. Here at our house, we use the good and the beautiful science units. Many of these books that I have today, I've used alongside our science units. If you do not use the good and the beautiful, these are still really great books that you can have on hand for your kids to reference during their science time or for you to even just read aloud to your children. The very first book that I wanna share is the Children's Encyclopedia. This encyclopedia is my favorite book we have here at our home. I will reference this book all the time during our science units, pulling out the information, sharing with my children, and reading it aloud. This encyclopedia ranges from things just as weather as well as going into space science, animals, plants, energy. It has so much packed into it. The pictures are amazing. There are QR codes within the book that you can scan right from your phone and be able to share some more information as well as videos with your children. This book, if you are going to get one thing to have access to for your science time, this is the one book that I would truly recommend. This is my favorite book we have here at our home. While we're talking about encyclopedias, I also wanted to share the first encyclopedia of science as well as the first encyclopedia of the human body. Both of these books are great and you can see that they are a little bit smaller and they're not quite as thick as what we saw with the encyclopedia. But I do wanna caution you, if you have this encyclopedia, the material within the first encyclopedias of both the science and the human body is actually right inside the children's encyclopedia as well. So I would not recommend getting both this and these books, but if you're looking for something just a little bit smaller, maybe you're just working on that human body unit, this one would be perfect because every single page is just regarding the human body, but the information inside this book is also within the children's children's encyclopedia. The next kind of book that I wanted to share is the Osborne flat books. I have a variety of these flat books, really love them. They have almost like a board book type of page inside of them, different from what you saw with the encyclopedias. And they have small little flaps all throughout all the pages. Great call outs, awesome information that you can read out loud to your kids and they can read out loud. I haven't had any issues with the durability of this book. Both the flaps and the pages have held up really great with my kids. This one that I'm sharing is the weather and climate book. This one I used alongside our Water and World, as well as the Meteorology, Good and the Beautiful Science units. Really love this book, so if you're gonna use those units, get this one, amazing to use alongside those units, and I love the flaps inside these books. The Usborne has many different styles of books, for their nonfiction science. With this one, this is the Look Inside books, and there is a variety of different topics that you can get for the Look Inside. The one I have is Our World, which was really great to use alongside the Water and World unit. So inside here, you can see these flaps, they open up. They're, the flaps inside the Look Inside books are larger than, say, the ones in just the flap books. So for this one, you'll see that the flaps, how huge that flap is, as well as when you move over to this page, how this completely opens up. So the concept of look inside, you are really taking a look inside for this one being the fantastic uh, forest. So this one goes a little bit different into how the pages open up and how big the flaps open up. And my kids really enjoyed going through this one. Like I said, this one was really great whenever we walked through the water and world unit. And so maybe that will be one that you would be interested in checking out if you were going to be using that unit. The next series of books I wanted to share is The 100 Things to Know About. These are really great books because there is basically one page or maybe it's a two page layout from one to 100 with great facts about whatever topic the book is about. So this one is about space. So if you're going to be using the space science unit for the good and the beautiful, this one is amazing to go through. You could easily do one of these facts every day or even two every day with your kids and you're just reading aloud the different facts about, say this is like to be an astronaut or there are 15 sunsets every day on the International Space Station. So you would be reading these cool facts, awesome pictures throughout the book 
books. My son really loves these books. He likes actually reading these before bed. He'll just read one of these facts every single night before bed, and it's just a great way for him to learn more about whatever topic we're studying in for science. While I'm talking about books that the kids can read, these are the Usborn Beginners. These are small readers that the kids can actually read themselves, this one being on weather. So you can see the information in here, the font size is a little bit larger. The uh, information and the words included in this book is definitely easier for a young reader to go through. So you can easily read these books aloud to your kids. If say you're going through the meteorology unit, you could read this weather book to your kids. You could have them read it to you or they can even just have it before bed as something that they would like to read just to learn a little bit more. So I have the one with weather, the sun, moon and stars was really great when we went through science, under the sea, really great for marine biology, as well as planet earth, planet earth we used whenever we did the water in the world. So these little beginner readers are perfect for your young student just starting to read. The next book that I wanted to share is the Usborne Starting Point Science Books. These are quite small, but are packed full with so much great information. They might not be as flashy as the Lift the Flap books or maybe the Look Inside because these pages are more of your standard book pages, but they have amazing pictures. They're packed full of so much great information to go through with your kids. This one that I'm holding right now is the What's Under the Sea book. This one would be great to go through if you were doing the Marine Biology Science Unit. The other one that I have is Why Do Tigers Have Stripes? So this is all about camouflage. And this one would be great to go through if you were doing mammals as well as all also has information with arthropods. So this is two really great books that I love to go through with my kids. While we're talking about camouflage, I wanted to share the secrets of animal camouflage. This is part of the Shine the Light series books. So these books are really great at bedtime. Also during your science time, you can just shut the lights out and you actually use a flashlight and you shine it behind the page and it reveals a picture that they're able to see through and then incredible facts about whatever topic they're going through in the Shine the Lights. So this one's the secret of the animal camouflage. We also have one for the human body. This one we went through when we did the human body unit. Really loved this one. I also have the secrets of the apple tree as well as on the space station. So these ones are great to go through if you were going through your space science unit. Amazing pictures, great facts. That flashlight edition is so much fun for the kids and you can do it in a dark room or do it at bedtime and they can learn so much and it's exciting with that flashlight. While on space science, I wanted to share the Usborne book and jigsaw puzzle of the solar system. This was a great addition when we went through the space science unit. So this is a really sturdy puzzle box. It comes with an awesome book that opens up about the solar system. It has great facts on it, as well as information for the different planets and moons and stars. And then of course it has the puzzle pieces right inside that you can build with your kids. This was really fun for my kids. So if you're going through a space science unit, go ahead and check out this jigsaw book and puzzle set. I think it's important to have on hand some atlases to use during your science time. If you're doing, say, your water and world, you might need to reference an atlas to be able to point out things like Antarctica or the Arctic Circle. For these two, I have the Usborne Lift the Flat Picture Atlas as well as the Usborne Children's Picture Atlas. I actually like having both of them. They're very different, but it's very helpful to be able to access both of them. This Children's Picture Atlas has some great information going into the different areas of climate and temperature. So you're like ice and snow area as well as your desert area and has some amazing pictures and then they're able to reference those different categories and color categories when they're going into actually looking at the full size areas of the atlas. For the Usborn Lift the Flat Picture Atlas, you know, sort of similar in what we saw for being able to open up and see, say for North America, as we just saw in the picture atlas, except it has all those nice little flaps for more information that your kids can open up and read more. So this one I would say is a little bit more exciting for a young child to be able to lift those flaps and to learn more. I would say for just referencing when I'm just trying to talk about an area on our earth, the children's picture atlas might be the first one I grab while my kids might grab the picture atlas, but both are really great to have during your science time. The next Usborne book that I access a lot is the Usborne First Illustrated Science Dictionary. Now, I would say that some of the information that you would see in this dictionary would be similar to what you'd see in the encyclopedia. The difference is the illustrated dictionary has really great 
graphics and drawings of the information. So here would be the page about plants and you can see the drawing that they have with the flower, the stem and leaves and roots. And I feel like for a young child, maybe your pre-K student up through maybe fourth or fifth grade, this book is really exciting for them, the way that the pictures are drawn, the information's laid out, but the type of material is very similar between the dictionary and the encyclopedia. The encyclopedia is gonna have more of those realistic pictures and photographs inside of it. But this one is really great, especially if you have some younger kids that you're doing science with. If you're looking into the geology unit that's within The Good and the Beautiful, this little small rocks and minerals spotters guide is a great little book. My son loves going through it. The pictures are really great. The stones are up close. You can really see them and see those stones and minerals and gems and the details about them. So if you are going into a geology unit for The Good and the Beautiful, this little almost pocket size rocks and minerals book is a really great addition. The last set of books I wanted to share are the Kane Miller Academy books. These books aren't exactly related to the Good and the Beautiful science units, but are really great additions to your homeschool day if you're, say, adding an elective for your student. These ones take the children through a path of becoming, say, an architect. So they start in the beginning learning about what an architect does. They take the time to do activities and games and activities in the book. They learn more about what an architect does and they get awards and badges and stickers along the way to keep them going. And at the end of the book, they get a cute little certificate that says like for this one, they're a qualified architect specialist. If you're looking for some interest ideas for your kids or having them just go through some elective material using one of these books either the architect academy we have the chef academy which goes through a lot of different measuring and uh, some facts about how food is stored and food groups as well as say the coder academy which teaches a child how to go through some early coding skills again not exactly good in the beautiful science related but would be really great electives that you could add in your home I hope you enjoyed going through these Us Born books with me and really be able to take that time to look inside and see what's inside the material. If you are interested in picking up some of these Us Born books to have at your home, go check out the links that I have below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.